How many girls have started to make a living off of OnlyFans now that would just normally have a job and never get paid the same amount of money? Well, you it's know? one of the reasons why we're not seeing that many hot chicks working at Chipotle, I think. Is that what it is? I ha- they go OnlyFans? I think it's going to, it's definitely. But how do they get an audience? Like just because you're hot and you show your asshole? They bait through their Instagram, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Dude, you yeah, know no two it, assholes right? are the same. Is that true? I'm sure. It's like a fingerprint. That's crazy. They're going to use that from now on to get into the bank. <laughs> <laughs> it's like your retina scan. Yeah. That's how you get into Dan Bilzerian's house. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you really think about how many girls are making like stupendous amounts of money on OnlyFans. Oh, it's baffling. But do you, do you also <clears throat> think, Joe, that... Whoa, OnlyFans is over 1 million creators. So, one, well, let's imagine that's an, that's worldwide. Up from 70,000 in 2019. So all those people jumped on board during the pandemic. That makes sense. This is what I start to worry about. That it's going to be like every, what is this called, a gig economy? No, what is yes. it? Okay. No, gig economy is like Uber. Right? Okay. Is it? Is would you think of OnlyFans? Does that count? Sure, sure, yeah. Sure. Like, I mean, they, they, you could get a gig. They could make a video for a specific person. Same, same kind of thing. Oh, okay. Do you think it's a gonna... cameo? But, yeah, it's very. I watched thing, some cameos sure. the other day. It was sad. I got one from uh, Nick Nolte about some dogs at Christmas. I made him make like a video for some puppies that I had never. Nick Nolte does cameos that I didn't have. Yeah. Why is he's he like, doing... oh, hey, cinnamon and whisker. Dad loves you. Yeah, I gotta find Nick, it. Nick Nolte's on cameo. How is it? Is that weird? Oh no, Gary. Who's the other guy that looks like Nick Nolte? Gary Busey. Gary Busey. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, they look very different. He's like, hey, cinnamon and whisker. Dad's yeah, well, home. Yeah, Gary Busey was a great actor who got in a horrible motorcycle accident without a helmet. Yeah. Okay, play some of these. Give me one right there. Got my guitar, got my voice, got my thoughts, got my love to send to you in a cameo, however many you want. Just send me what you want me to tell you, and I'll tell you better than you can feel. Bop, bop, bop. There you go. Cameos are us. I love that. Doesn't that make you feel good, though? Did you feel good when you did it? No. <clears throat> no, it made me think you should wear a helmet. Oh, you think people are taking advantage of him? No, that's what happened to him. He got in a motorcycle accident without a helmet on back when L.A. didn't have a helmet oh. law. And he crashed his motorcycle and bounced his fucking head off a curb. Oh, and damn, got, dude. Yeah. And got serious brain damage. That's like, not see, funny, See, you can pull that up. I want to say that was from, like, the early 2000s. He had a serious... That's why one of his eyes looks different than the other one. Yeah. Because it remade it. His fucking skull got crushed. Yeah. In 1988, the actor, then 44 had just picked up his Harley Davidson from a shop when he tried to maneuver around a bus and accidentally turned too hard, started skidding, and hit his back brake, causing him to fly over his windshield and land directly on his helmetless head. Oh. Yeah. So that is when things went sour. And his hair still looks good, which is crazy. He's got great huh? hair. He's got great hair to hide that scar where they had to stitch his head back together again, I think. That's unbelievable. Not good. This, yeah. Well, this is my question then. Do you think it's going to get to a point, right, where if we start losing jobs, right, and there's less jobs and more people are on, like, OnlyFans, right, mm-hmm. that you're basically going to have chicks out there, like, literally people, women holding each other at gunpoint, like, you know, subscribe to my pussy, stuff like that. Uh, like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know what you're saying. You know, help, Jamie. <laughs> Jamie, can you pull up some help? <laughs> pull up some help. I need some help, man. <laughs> or, I, like I always have this vision of like two Uber drivers. Like you're you're gonna be my uh, um, I'm your you're my rider. You know what I'm saying? You're my like, like it's like people like it's all just digital. It's all online, and it's just like people just like subscribe to me now you know like literally at gunpoint like that's how bad it's gonna get i don't think that's gonna happen but i think there's gonna be a lot of people that are doing that to make a living the problem is where's the money coming from is it gonna be subscribers paying other subscribers is it gonna be like a hierarchy like someone who makes like a million dollars a month paying someone who makes a hundred thousand dollars a month who pays someone who makes ten thousand dollars a month is it is it gonna be a pyramid scheme for pussy yeah 
I, I yeah. I don't want to get buy a fake pussy somewhere and put it out there. I don't know? think that's good enough. I think you have to have the whole body attached to it. Like, what do most girls on OnlyFans do? Do they show like bikini pictures? Like, what are they doing? Showing feet? There's bikini pictures. I know that there's like meetups where like manager companies like have them all go to like a location together, like at the beach, and then they do like, you know, tit touching and like, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, they get together, smelling and, each other's crotch, you know, like stuff. Oh, and so that gets everybody excited, and then they get more like. So they have managers. stuff animals do, like stuff animals do before their owner pulls them away real quick. I heard that the, a lot of these girls, when they're, when they're interacting with people online, they're not really doing it. That they hire a company, and then someone writes these letters. Because like, if you feel like you're going to respond to people and text them, like how many of them are you going to do this to? Like How many can you? How many days? I mean, how much hours in the day do you have? And if people don't know how many you're responding to or who's doing it, like if you have, like, say if you have a million subscribers on OnlyFans and you get 100,000 messages a month. Yeah, you got to have somebody helping you. Maybe they just have a person, like a service, who writes, like, sexy things. Like, thank you, sweetie, heart, heart, yeah. kiss, blowing kiss, you know? Yeah. Like, yeah, you're I think, so sweet, thank you. And I, there's a fat guy writing those yeah. things. <laughs> you know? Do you remember Marilyn Martinez? Did you know Marilyn Martinez? Uh-uh. Marilyn Martinez was a comic at the Comedy Store, mm -hmm. and uh, very funny. And she used to do uh, phone sex back in the day. Oh, That's yeah. how she made a living when she was uh, starting out as a comic. She would uh, get on the phone with guys while they were jerking off, and she'd talk them through it. That's wild. Yeah. Yeah, I think I just wonder if it's going to come to that, where you're going to have you know people just helping <clears throat> each other jerk off, and that's going to be, you know. I think it's going to come to the point where you can't jerk off anymore because you're not going to have any genitals. I think we're all going to slip away to neutral. Like I was saying. Aliens. Yeah. Beige. Aliens. We look at what, what aliens look like. What do they look like? They look like sexless, genderless things with big giant heads. Autism, too. You think so? Aliens? Yeah. I think they have the highest, most acute form of fucking... Alzheimer's? Al I mean, autism. <laughs> autism. I said Alzheimer's. They might have Alzheimer's, too, uh -huh. dude. They could have it all. I mean, at that point, they've mastered I the diseases. I was trying to say Asperger's, oh. <laughs> so I came up with Alzheimer's. Well, Asperger's yeah. should have a different name, too. It's just... Yeah, Asperger's. Yeah. That's rude. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot. Right? I wonder if it's like a doctor. Is it Dr. Asperger who figured out Asperger's? Mm, I don't know. Take a guess. Let's find out and take a guess. Ron Asperger? Yeah. Yeah, probably. Like yeah, a guy we'll... out of mm -hmm. Seattle. I was thinking that enough. Fournier's gang green we looked up to their dad. It's unfortunate right. for Mr. Fournier.